Welcome to the beginning of my quest for a 2022 Pennsylvania black bear. Today is December 23rd, 2021. It's 20 degrees and I'm starting to prep stand sites in preparation of next fall's archery bear season. I'm hunting a pretty thick swamp here. I've been hunting this area now for a couple of years and I finally narrowed down to this is where I think I should be. Uh, the last couple of years I've seen quite a few bears. I just haven't got the shot that I've needed uh, to get an arrow into them because of the thickness. But this has proven to be a natural food source. I don't know if you can see the mulberries on the bushes behind me. And there's some winter berries scattered out through. And I've seen the bears working these berries the past two years. So now I've honed in on this area. It's early in the year. Uh, but I want to get started while the bears are denned up and have everything done and prepped before the bears come out of their den. And then from there I'll just run trail cameras. So it's December 2021. We're getting ready for the 2022 bear season. I'm going to update as we go along and hopefully at the end of this I'll have a bear on the ground. Okay, this is my second installment, my quest for a 2022 Pennsylvania black bear. The last installment was back in December when I was prepping some stands, but uh, this area is pretty tough because most of it's public and you're not allowed to set stands before the season, you're not allowed to trim any shooting lanes, and that's been one of my biggest problems, trying to get an arrow into a bear when you can't cut shooting lanes. So we only prepped one stand which was on private and it, it borders public but it was on private so I was okay to go ahead and prep that but today's August 1st, it's over 90 degrees here in western Pennsylvania. We're in the dog days of summer and today I'm setting trail cameras. I've got about eight cameras I want to put out. I can't put these on public either uh, so I'm just setting them around the perimeters. I've got permission from the farmer. Uh, setting most of them along the edge of cornfields, seeing where the bears are coming up out of the public and then feeding in the corn. Uh, they're not hitting the corn yet, it's not to the milk stage, but it will be real soon. And when that happens, then I'll start droning as well uh, to see if we can see some rolls and whatnot in the corn. But today, this particular spot, I'm going to go downstream about 200 yards and hang this one camera just on the edge of the public keeping it on private there was a good crossing there last year so I want to see if they're using it this year this is my third or fourth year in this area and I've seen bears every year I uh, just haven't been able to get it done yet and uh, taking a little different approach this year after three years of hitting it pretty hard I've stayed out of here for several months and like I said this is August 1st I'll put these cameras up and start pulling the cards every every week or so, every seven to ten days and then uh, as the season gets closer I can hang the one stand that I've already prepped for and then the other areas are just hang and hunt because they're on public so I will keep updating stay tuned really hoping to put a bear on the ground this year alright it's the middle of August and it's 92 degrees today it's a scorcher this is the third installment of my 2022 bear season and the prep that's going into it as you can see today I'm gonna fly my drone I'm gonna drone the cornfield see if we can see any bear rolls in there it's in the milk stage so if there's bears in the area they should be hitting the corn because this is like the number one draw in my area so hopefully the drone will reveal something when I'm done droning I'm gonna slip into my hip boots I'm gonna go up the stream several several hundred yards and pull my trail camera cards and then when I get back home and check the cards I'll update with pictures if there's anything on them 
and we'll go from there. So that's the plan for today, our third installment. It's drone day and card pulling day. encouraging as you can see by those rolls and this only be in the middle of August and it being this hot and the bears they're already hitting it a lot harder than I was expecting I thought we might just see the start of a couple rolls but there's there's some pretty good rolls in there and it's only going to get hit even more as the season progresses especially when it cools down it gets towards fall so that's encouraging looks like there's more than one bear in there too couple good size rolls so very encouraging gonna put the hip boots on and go into the swamp now and then as I stated previously when I get the cards home I'll update if there's anything on the cards and put the pictures on there <laughs> 